here with Steve Gilroy at the... Gilmore. No, sorry, Gilmore, you're right. <laughs> We're here with Steve Gilroy, this is Joe Bird-Brewer and we're chilling in Gilroy's Brewery. <laughs> Hello Steve. Welcome <laughs> home. Thank you kindly. Uh -huh. I understand that this means up yours. Do you want to give us a bit of a taste of it? This is, this is a friendly challenge to any other brewer to brew a better beer. This used to be rude. Um, the Americans buggered this up. They reduced this to the impertinent finger in a road rage case in Philadelphia or Pennsylvania or somewhere about four years ago. I've had to make it rude again. Watch this. Now that's why the G-spot short for Gilroy. <laughs> Speaking of so, that, yeah. so, you know, we had to pass by about seven different ladies walking in here and you'd flirt with each one of them. Is there any possibility that, you know, you take them to the back and show them the pub, show them the brewery, how things work, maybe test the G-spot? Uh, we'll have to ask my wife. She's in the corner office over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Steve, um, you've been here in this premises, I mean, since at eight least years. Eight yeah, years. I, uh, my first time. Actually, was, 99 years now. I've been coming since 2010, since we came from Bloemfontein on a tour, and we've come ever since. It's been a tradition to at well, least have a day at Gilroy's, but it seems nothing's changed. Your 120 years behind the time seems to stay constant. Why 120? This started, the Gilroy, the first Gilroy Brewery was in uh, 1860. I didn't know about this. Um, Auntie Amy told me. She was the family historian. Actually, there's the thing. Amy would have been 100 years old on December the 23rd, 10 years ago, if she hadn't died. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, if she hadn't died, this is a sad thing. It was 10 o'clock on the 22nd that she died. So she spent 100 years being 100 years old and fucked it up in the last two hours. <laughs> right. Right, sorry about that. Carry no, 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 no. You, what you've we're got, talking you've about. You've tell the truth. Your beard, you mentioned it earlier. No, the 120 years behind the times. When I started, when I was thinking of starting the brewery, it was 120 years after they started brewing in the middle 1860s. Which I didn't know about. It's in the it's in the genes. It's in the roots. So why come South Africa then? Um, well, because it's beautiful. Okay, no, no, well, well. <laughs> yeah, no, a, no, it's the weirdest thing. I, I was a smart kid. Right. Clearly um, still are. Uh, well, Maybe the kid part not so. Not yeah, so well, still young and talented and black. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got allowed to say that, by the way. Um, I came as an engineer. The South African government invited me over because I was a smart kid. Um, it made sense to me to buy a plot. So, Lynn and I, my wife, who's upstairs, <laughs> <laughs> um, we bought a plot, a little, uh, yeah, little house, plot in Muldersville. Uh, we inherited a dog. Then we inherited another dog. And then, the weird thing is, you take your dog on a walk on the dirt road after the first rains. Africa just gets hold of your heart and pulls it in. When you hear the rain, the first rains on a tin roof, it's pure romance. It's Africa. And once you've seen that, once you've experienced it, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, if you were invited by the South African uh, government, it's interesting to me that your poetry, which is amazing by the way, um, is often quite critical of the government sometimes. Oh, no. no, no, no. Do, do you ever feel yes, like yes. Do you feel <laughs> treasonous in that matter? No, no, it's, um, it's all the truth. Um, if a guy's an arsehole, you've got to say he's an arsehole. Um, I've never been racist. Okay. So I'm just pointing that out now, just in case anyone goes through the poems and said, we're going to nail that bastard for racism. <laughs> you should do it with yeah. a twill. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ordering two beers, by the way, yeah, this is how you order a Gilroy's. If you're ordering two, it goes, wow. No, three, watch it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I saw my first pornographic movie last week. And then? Can't believe how young I looked. <laughs> <laughs> was it your wife who is over there? No, 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 no. <laughs> my wife was over there. 
Um, you know, Thursday nights, jazz nights, probably one of my favourite nights here at Gilroy. It's like guys that practice amazing music. Uh, tell me, what do you do? Of course, and you advertise Mondays you close because you have to stay young and lovely. Tuesdays, yeah. Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, or you just bring beer? Do you do other exciting things? You seem like a man <laughs> of multi- <laughs> multiple talents. We do Digital a- engineer? Yeah, well, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this is, we've built everything here. Right, yeah. Right. Um, no, it's, it's generally quiet during the week, so um, it's brewing during the day, making sure that it's quality control. Right. In the afternoons, because uh, you have to you have to get into copious. There's only one way in a brewery to achieve absolute quality control. You have to drink a lot of beer. It's not just getting pissed. Uh uh-uh. It's quality control. So on that note, and that's what we do during the week. <laughs> on that note, Steve, if, there, if there's a vacancy, please let us know. Sir, I'm <laughs> vacant right now. Would you like a beer? Why not? Let's go and have one. Thanks so much. You can leave your hand on. You can leave your hand on. Waiters, I'm dehydrating here.